Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another Apples and Tiara's vlog. Today is Monday, April 29th, 28th. <laughs> we are still in bed. It's 8.30. What are you doing? <laughs> Where are you going? Wayne is unsettled. <laughs> I don't know if he needs to poop or burp. He just ate. Um, but he's been pretty wiggly this morning. Um, usually I can tell if he needs to poop because um, he, he's real grunty and, and kicking his legs. And, and he's just unsettled right now. So anyway, it's 830. I wanted to start a vlog on a Monday and finish it on a Friday. Um, maybe Sunday. I'm not sure, but I wanted to do a full week in the life vlog for you guys. So I'm starting it on Monday, bright and early. Um, this vlog will be very much like baby related because obviously I'm home with a newborn. Um, it is maternity leave still. I don't know what week of maternity leave this is. Maybe week seven because he's going to be six weeks old on Friday this week, which is insane. So I guess it's week seven of maternity leave. Um, and so if you are interested in following along with me for a week in the life of being home with a newborn and getting through all the things, then grab a snack, grab a drink, and let's get into it. I gave him a pacifier. We call these pippies in our house. Comment down below what you guys call these. Um, and he seems a little happier. Also, I will warn y'all right now, the state of this bedroom is beyond grotesque. We have laundry baskets everywhere, chairs, like vitamins and stuff just everywhere. Medical bills. I'm watching my friend Jennifer Genuine Teaching on YouTube, her day in the, or week in the life video. Um, I don't usually, <laughs> where are you going? I don't usually start my day off in here watching TV, but I don't know. He was still sleepy, so. Oh, I know you need to poop. That's what you're, that's what you're doing. So anyway, we're just hanging out in here for a little bit. The dogs are here. Oh just yeeted that right out of your mouth. Um, so Wayne really likes these itsy ritzy pacifiers. Um, the part that goes in his mouth is way squishier and different shaped than like the, oh, than like the web and nub or like the, the, um, I would have to show you. But the green ones are like, they're like blue or green, tealy color. Anyway, he likes these way better. So we just got like a bunch of them. Oh no. Okay. You're showing me that you're still hungry, but when I put you on, you're not happy. So you're going to have to poop or something before you keep eating. Otherwise, you're going to be mad. So anyway, we're going to hang out in here for just a little bit longer and then we'll venture out into the living room and see what everyone else is doing. Something that you will not see me do every day this week is take cash to school. And that is because I am fortunate and blessed enough to be living with my parents right now. And so my dad actually gets up and takes cash to school for me every day. I try really hard to get to pick him up every day, but it just depends on what's going on with the baby. I know not everybody who has two or more kids has that luxury, so I feel very grateful, very blessed, and very fortunate to have that option. Um, they are going on a big cruise in a couple weeks, or two weeks, and I will have to get up and take cash to school and pick him up every day. So no matter what this guy's go got going on, we will make that work. Um, and then, of course, Scott will be home too, so on his days off, he can take him to school. Um, for me. Okay, let's get you sorted out. Okay, so I think I figured out what was wrong. So I'm completely soaked right here. So 
it looks like his diaper failed, which is crazy because I just gave him this diaper like an hour ago, which, you know, is pretty, I mean, it's not too far long ago. Um, but I used a coterie diaper, which everyone says are like the best diaper. Like they don't leak. They're great for overnights with bigger babies. And they've done nothing but leak every single time I use them. So I don't know. Luckily, they were just given to me as extras from a friend who their baby grew out of them. So I didn't buy any of the coterie diapers. Um, so it's been nice to kind of try them. They're very soft. And I don't know if it's because the ones I'm using are slightly too big for him, but he doesn't fit in newborn diapers anymore. And so I have to use the size ones that I have. So I've been trying the Coterie overnight and they've done nothing but leak every single time. So um, I'm going back to my tried and true and that is just honest diapers. I've also noticed the size one um, Hello Bella ones have been pretty leaky too. Also, quick update, Wayne has gained over three pounds since he was born. He is weighing in at nine uh, pounds, seven ounces, um, just last week. He's got um, a few more weeks until we go back to the doctor for the two month appointment, but look at him. <laughs> now that you're dressed, Let's get mommy changed because I got pee all over me too. Okay, I am dressed. Now we're gonna go into the bathroom so I can do something with my hair. I'm probably not gonna wear too much makeup today just because that's not really necessary. Um, and I'll show you guys my outfit in a minute. Are you ready to get dressed? Yeah, okay, let's go get dressed. Okay, are you ready to get dressed? <gasps> Look at you. Okay, time for pants, ready? One, two, three. Look at you. Something else I wanted to mention, every single article of clothing that this boy wears was donated by a friend of my sister's who just had a baby and her baby outgrew all of their clothes, all, all of his clothes so fast. So she donated pretty much everything to us. I think I maybe purchased three or four outfits and then the rest were either gifted or donated. Hi, hi. In this blanket cute spearmint baby so soft so sweet are you ready to go see nana let's go see nana okay we're gonna try and sit in the bouncer while i get my hair brushed and <laughs> all right so for breakfast today we're going to have some of these starbucks egg bites from costco and then we're also gonna have a protein shake with all the booby milk goodness. Flax seeds, chia seeds, nutritional or non-nutritional, brewer's yeast, oats, all the things that make the milk come in for this guy. For this guy. Okay, we're back in the bouncer, but this time we're not as happy, so we're gonna go really fast. Okay, this is what I'm putting in my protein shake. Coconut milk. Chia seeds, brewer's yeast, flaxseed meal, gold standard whey, and some rolled oats. 
and blueberries. All right, so this is the outfit for the day. Just some leggings, a t-shirt, and a nursing bra. <laughs> the one. Oh, he's fussy. Hey, you guys, so it's much later in the afternoon. A lot has gone down since I last talked to you. Mom and I went to TJ Maxx and I went to Buckle just in search for some shorts and some jeans in my current size. Oh no! So um, mom and I went to TJ Maxx on a hunt for some shorts and some jeans in my size because obviously I've gone up a couple of sizes. Good news is though, before pregnancy, I think I was a size 28 and I'm only a size 30 now or I was a size eight or nine and I'm a size 11 now. So I'm only two sizes up, which isn't bad. Um, I'm not really focusing on losing weight um, right now, but I am excited to get back into the gym. Um, next week I believe so uh, we grabbed cash from school and then we stopped by the job site I'll insert a clip of the current progress here I'm gonna get the all right in. here's the house progress some wood from the job site so that he could build a ramp for his monster trucks. Alright you guys, so it is now Tuesday and it is about 9.50 in the morning. I am heading downtown today for a couple of reasons. Um, my dear, dear friend since middle school, her name is Carly. She has two little kids. She's got a three-year-old daughter and a six-month-old baby. And she and I both have just moved back to the Prescott area to be near our families. And I don't know why, we have only hung out like a handful of times. She came to my baby shower. We've just been both been so busy, but since we're both not working right now, um, we're gonna try to start getting together a lot more, especially since we both have little babies. Um, who will probably end up being in the same grade um, and are around the same age. So um, I planned on meeting her today at the square to just hang out. That's kind of what we do in Prescott. Um, as locals, we grab a blanket, we go to the square and we hang out under the trees and the grass. Um, with older kids, we like to bring like soccer balls, footballs and just play um, and just really enjoy the atmosphere of being downtown, especially during the week when there's no um, people from the city coming up to get cool but she's running a little bit behind her little guy is down for a nap and I know that when Cash was six months old and I put him down for a nap he could be sleeping for an hour or two um, and so uh, coincidentally my students and my teammates are going on a field trip to a park that is very close by where I'm going with Carly. And so I've decided to kind of surprise them and meet up with them down there. Uh, now, Wayne is only 
almost six weeks old. So I don't want him interacting with my students. So I plan on keeping the car seat cover completely over him. And if the kids ask to see him, I might let them peek, but I'm not gonna let them touch or get very close to him because he's obviously still very brand new and I don't wanna expose him, oh, excuse me, car, to um, any illnesses that are going around. So I'm gonna be very careful, um, but I really, really miss my teammates and I really wanna see them. Um, I stopped by the school yesterday to pick up cash early, took Wayne into the front office and they were all gushing over him. So I just, I know that he's still really little and I'm not going to let the kids get too close to him. Um, like at all, if they want to see, I'll just like lift the cover and they can peek real quick, but that's pretty much it. I'm not going to let them get like near touch or anything like that. So they're like six feet, <laughs> stay away. Um, but I just really miss them and I really wanted to, since I'm going to be down there anyway, I figured I would just stop by. Um, so I'm going to run to Sprouts real quick and grab like a sandwich, um, because they are eating lunch first. They're not supposed to get there until 10 15 and I'm pretty much right by the park right now. So I have about 15 minutes. I'm going to run into Sprouts, grab a little sandwich, maybe a little bag of chips and a tea and then head down to the park and surprise them all. Um, so yeah, that's on the agenda today. Okay, the move to go to Target was, or not Target, <laughs> the move to go to Sprouts was really good. I um, got lunch for $7. I just got a pre-made turkey sandwich, a little bag of chips, an apple, and a hydration drink, and it was $7.95. Ah, win. That's like way cheaper than if I were to like drive through somewhere. Super stoked. Okay, I'm headed to the park. Let's see how this goes. There they are. I'm just gonna sit here. I don't think my teammates would have told them that I'm coming. So we'll see if they figure it out. Okay, so they're going down a ways that way. So I might have to walk to them. Hey you guys, so it is now Thursday at 12 o'clock and I realized I didn't vlog anything after the park so um it was really really cool as soon as I walked over to the kids they like completely stormed me um I had a circle of about 90 students around me and um it was pretty phenomenal um I ended up having lunch with them and then ended up going to my girlfriend Carly's house um and hung out there for a couple hours before picking up cash Unfortunately, um, my friend Carly and her kids had been sick the night before and they had like a little um, stomach bug. Well, it's now Thursday and I have caught the stomach bug. So as you can hear behind me, I am currently pumping because I'm not positive if I'm going to be able to keep down liquids or food. I've already thrown up once um, and I am hopefully getting an IV therapy medic to come out and give me um, an IV treatment, which if you guys don't know what that is, basically it is a registered nurse that comes and gives you an IV. Um, it's for hydration and then they most of the time infuse them with some sort of vitamin or supplement. So I'll probably be getting like Zofran, vitamin C, um, all those types of things to try and help me feel better because um, getting the stomach bug and nursing a brand new baby is not ideal. Um, he, when I tried breastfeeding earlier, was not able to get much out. And so um, I went to my freezer stash, which isn't very big at all, um, pulled out a couple of ounces and fed him. And now I'm just trying to pump so that I can still produce when I feel better um, and hopefully pump enough for him for the day to um, keep him happy and fed. So anyway, that's what's going on. So I'm currently hiding in my room so 
Scott has the baby um, and our efforts to keep him and the baby from getting sick. Um, so that sucks. Happy Friday, everyone. It's um, Friday afternoon and we came to the park. It's all ours. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> hey, Mega Rex won! He stayed on the longest! It's a beautiful spring day. What do you think the temperature is? 71? Low 70s. Beautiful out here. Probably has crumbs on his head because I ate a sandwich. And now for the monster truck montage. <laughs> 